<laughs> Welcome to another Monday Music Minute. I'm your host, Eric Gill from St. Lucie County's Communications Division. I'm Mark Freed from the St. Lucie County Library System. Now each week we come on the show and tell you our favorite musical finds on Freegal, which is a free service that allows you to download and stream free music thanks to your St. Lucie County Library card. Just visit your branch library, get a card, and get online. Now I've admitted on this show that I was into jam bands, and one of the biggest jam bands of the early 90s helped to create one of the better festivals of that decade. And there were a lot of them. Blues Traveler singer John Popper launched the Horrid Festival in 1992 and toured summer amphitheaters for the next seven summers. And I caught Blues Traveler during a few of those summers and even saw them at the legendary Mojo Room down in Port St. Lucie in 2007. This harmonica playing frontman is back with a new covers album called Traveler's Blues featuring guitarists such as Keb Moe, Kingfish, who you can see at the Lyric Theater in November down in Stewart, Warren Haynes, and Rita Wilson. Yes, Mrs. Tom Hanks helps Popper and company with the, with the Gnarls Barkley song, Crazy. It's a straight on rock and roll blues album covering The Doors, J.J. Kale, Jimmy Reed, and more. Mark? Bad Astronaut founded in 2000 is an indie band uh, with lead singer Joey Cape of Lagwagon and me first in the Gimme Gimme's, bassist Mark DeSantis of Sugar Cult, and drummer Derek Plode of Wagwagon. The group had a solid, solid musical resume and planned to be an experimental studio side project for them. They released their debut EP, Acrophobe, in 2001. Uh, with the addition of Friends, the band quickly grew into a seven-piece unit, and their second release in 2002, Houston, We Have a Drinking Problem, uh, was well received. Over the next few years, the band worked intermittently on their third album. Sadly, Plurid committed suicide in 2005. Initially, Cape thought to scrap the project, but decided to complete what he and his friend had started. In 2006, 12 Small Steps, One Giant Disappointment was released and the band announced that without Derek, there is no bad astronaut. Ironically, the two friends had come up with the title before Plurd's death. The band reformed in 2010 to play some live shows, but in 2016 it was announced that the new drummer, Eric Herzog, had died. In April of 2021, the band released a new single as part of a box set. Freegal has all three albums as well as the new single. Definitely check it out. That does it for this week's Money Music Minute. Have a great Monday.